Okay, cool. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Commitments Day 22. Uh, getting ready to wrap up the air. We've just got a few more episodes left. Uh, tonight we have Igor Galich talking about Git Worktree. Igor, how's it going? That's fine, thank you. Good. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit tired and wired. <laughs> oh, that's a great combination. That's um, normally when I do my best work. Oh, I'm not feeling good. Let's get some caffeine in oh, there yeah. and, and, and kick some butt. A uh, few show notes before we get started. Uh, for folks that are watching or catching up later on, uh, if you've got questions for us, you can drop, uh, drop something on Twitter, at commitmiss or at vbrownbag, or with the commitmiss or vbrownbag hashtag. You can get all of our past episodes on bit.ly slash commitmiss2, and check out the GitHub repo where we've got all the videos also uh, posted with the uh, information about that episode. And with that, let's try to make you presenter. Worked out for us once okay. so far. So it's going to obviously work the exact same way this time again. <laughs> OK, thank you very much. So. Okay. All right. I, uh, I see a console screen. I saw a console screen. Now I see the web screen. Ooh. <laughs> no. How about now? Catching up. I think there's just a little lag. Now I see lots of screens, and there's the console. OK, cool. So um, OK, I have uh, prepared this uh, subdirectory work tree in my uh, very populated source. Um, and I have cloned public community module sync. Um, so that's public community module sync. You don't really have to follow. So the idea here that we um, that we want to present is um, let's imagine that we are working on some kind of feature. Okay, so we could check out feature, uh, or actually, let's say this is like a complete restructuring. No. Re-architecture. And we're going to be like shuffling files around randomly. And we don't know. We don't even know what we're doing, right? But uh, at, at a certain point, uh, somebody comes and says, oh, uh, you need to do this thing. Please do that now. <laughs> and you, like, you don't even know what kind of state your repository is right now, but you know one thing, git stash is not going to work. Git stash is going to tell you you have to, like, it's, you don't even know what it's going to do. So um, to the rescue comes git work tree. Um, what git work tree does is essentially uh, it lets you add um, a completely new directory with your um, with your entire Git history and a certain branch if user want, um, like in a subdirectory. Now the advantage of that is that you can leave the state of this feature branch here in whatever state it is, so you can like get out a security fix or that urgent feature that your boss wants you to add. So let's let's try and do that. We just say git work tree add so this is gonna be okay we just want to add a new module and that's it. So nothing has happened here. And that's good, right? <laughs> we don't want anything to happen here. So let's uh, see what's going on here. Uh, we are now on uh, in this new directory, apps mod, uh, and it also automatically has 
uh, a new branch which is called add mod. And um, let's see which state we are on. Like this, this has uh, created a branch from whatever had was at that state. Um, but more importantly, all our work in the um, in the other directory remains untouched. Um, so, what's happened here? Okay, let's take a let's take a look. So first of all, uh, Git is just a file, and it's telling us that our Git here is uh, in a different directory. So, work tree is like a complete, um, like creates a, com a complete orthogonal view of your Git directory, and it lets you it lets you use that Git directory essentially like a clone because that's exactly what uh, what it is. Um, if you imagine an alternative way I could have done this would have simply been to just go ahead and clone this thing again as but this would take bandwidth and time and so on and right now well wow, it doesn't work my internet here is horribly slow because I'm on a, uh, on a live stream. And if this is a big uh, repository, this would take forever. Uh, but since we already have this thing locally, uh, we can simply use one command and it does that for us. Okay, so back to add mod. And now I can do as my manager told me and add a new module here. Say that's oh but Okay, and I could now, so let's see what our remotes are. And my remote is still the same, that's cool. Okay, so nothing's changed there. And I can say git push origin Okay, and then we pushed out the new branch, and somebody could create a pull request from that, but I'd rather not because we don't really have this new module. But yeah, so that's that. Uh, uh, do we have any questions? Nothing right now on Twitter or go to meeting. Excellent. So I can go to bed now. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Last call. Any yeah. questions out there? Good luck in the morning. Hopefully you didn't drink too much coffee and end up staying up all night now. No, no, no not at all. I don't drink coffee past ah. three uh, in the afternoon. So awesome. Well, looks I'm like the uh, go go questions are good and Twitter's quiet. So uh, I think, sir, you can get off to bed. Thank you very much for presenting tonight. Uh, thanks for everyone on the line. We'll get the recording posted as soon as possible, and you can catch all the past episodes at uh, bit.ly slash commitments2, capital C on commitments there.
Thanks, everyone.